bit more grinding than I would have expected, but came up. Oh, I love the smell inside this car. You know, I mean, it's, it's had, uh, this upholstery work was probably done, what, 30 years ago or something? No, oh, maybe more. Maybe the, maybe it was, uh, I don't know, maybe it was done around the time when they rebuilt it for the sake of the grease thing, but uh, still, it's just got mega old, man. I've got a uh, Zoom H1 recorder out in the back, get me some tailpipe perspective. The wind's up, so it'll probably sound like shite, but... gas in this, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we drove the... So yeah. I think the last video will tell me how much we put in. I think I put 20 bucks in or whatever. What did we say it was? 20 liters. It's just below a buck a liter now. It's 95.9 or something like that, or 96. But, um... What did we say 20 liters was? Not 8 gallons, but a lot like 5 gallons or something like that. 20 liters was five and a half gallons or something. Temp climbs so fucking quick, like, you know, we've already ascertained a lot that the uh, the gauge is inaccurate, we know that. The uh, Remember there's two, a flathead engine has two separate water jackets, one for each side, you know, because it's got the head and there's a, there's a uh, thermostat and a radiator hose that comes down to each half of the uh, of the engine. So I think we've determined in past times that this temp engine is actually kind of averaging the output from the two different thermostat um, readers. And I've used an infrared gun to uh, warm this car right up to full-on off-driving temperature and then, um, you know, get the side-by-side -side thing. And there was one side that was traditionally hotter, um, but it didn't, it didn't indicate that it was overall as hot at the engine as this temp gauge would, because uh, this temp gauge goes right up to H and just fucking stays there, right? It never really modifies itself all that much, so. It's interesting. We're getting about 40... Yeah, I don't know, 40 PSI on uh, oil pressure. That's always been pretty good in this car, it's consistent. And the fuel gauge is slowly coming up, showing me that I have something off of the uh, minimum line. But yeah, it's never really, yeah, it's never really indicated properly. And because I had to crank it so much, you can see that the battery, well, you can't see it right now, but the battery indicator is telling me that, uh, that it's in the charge. This has a generator, not an alternator. The starter button over here, uh, all these cars were all push button start. I don't know why, uh, you know, probably because it was easier to build a little uh, um, panel down here with a couple of lights and the uh, automatic uh, trunk opener and then the starter. Here is the starter switch, you know, so you, you turn the ignition on, then you press the start switch. Uh, I suppose it was just easier not to try and get back there because uh, it's probably a nightmare back there. And that's why I haven't tried to fix any of these fucking gauges. We're definitely up to 10. Kind of bogs in the, in the early... inside the hood sometime. Tape it down or something, you know. Trouble is they when they, when they wobble they kind of they make a shitty uh, physical noise.
Let's go down. See what's going on down the beach today. Fucking love this car, man. You know, it's just completely different era. Obviously.
Well, who knows what that all means, but uh, never pass up a chance to uh, get out in the murk. I'm trying to stick by my, uh, the reason we started today is, I'm trying to stick by my thing that if I start this thing every other week, ish, then uh, I don't have to worry about doing all that fucking hand pumping and all that bullshit. Right? We did notice we had to turn her over a lot more, but uh, maybe I go to weekly so I don't have to even wear out the battery as much. Anyway, oh here, I might as well uh, show you this. The family, and uh, in particular Nicole, uh, probably get a jazz out of that. Not sure, but I think she might have bought that for Dad. Or definitely was around when it happened. So, yeah. Well, thanks everyone. Not super exciting what's going on here, but I know people uh, enjoy being in the old cars, so. Alright. Thanks again. Talk soon. Bye.